In this video, we shall be introducing to you the basic functionalities and capabilities of the simulation software LTSPICE. Like other softwares, we start by creating a schematic file where we shall construct our circuit. Go to the file menu and choose new schematic or simply click this button below the file menu. Now we have an empty workspace and above it is a set of tools that we can use to add and organize our components. We shall focus on familiarizing you with the general interface of the software and with that, let's start by creating a simple voltage divider circuit. In the toolbar above, choose the resistor icon and left click to drop it on your workspace. Press the escape key to return to your normal cursor. For the voltage source, we shall use the general add component tool represented by this AND gate. The ground connection can be easily accessed from the toolbar as well. To connect our components, we use the wire tool. Unlike other softwares, we only need to run through the components without worrying of having shorted connections. To input values, right-click on the component and fill in the necessary parameters. Our circuit is now complete. Let us explore the other tools present. We have this tool over here to label nodes. This is very useful in organizing and maintaining clarity within our circuit. We also have this tool over here to add text in our circuit. Say we want to label what type of circuit we are building. We also have tools to customize the orientation of components such as the rotate tool and the mirror tool. Now, let's simulate our circuit. To do so, click on the running man over here and specify the type of analysis that you want. By default, the software saves all the data for the duration of the analysis. Nothing appeared. Did we forget something? No, because in LD Spice, you will be the one to choose the parameter of interest that you want to plot. By clicking on nodes, voltages will automatically be shown. And by clicking on the components, the current flowing through will be shown. By holding the ALT key, you can instead plot the power being dissipated by that component. By right-clicking on the plot labels, you can customize the color of the trace. Also, in this menu, you have the option to delete the trees. By right-clicking on the axis labels, you can change the range as well as the rate of change per tick. That's it for our first video.